Régulièrement, on aime bien sortir de nos sentiers battus et aller vers des gens qui vont nous apporter des choses qu'on qu ne fait pas d'habitude. Et ben voilà, on s'est demandé avec qui on pourrait travailler, qui vraiment nous décoifferait. Et on a pensé Marcel Vanders. In this collection, you find uh, everything that you need. You find the, the lights, you find the softness, you find uh, the colors, you find the sofa, you find a little tabouret, you find um, a cabinet with a fantastic place to put something sweet. In this case, we, we started to, you know, just making a graphic that was combining all the things that we thought would be interesting. We made a little world that, you know, it was a very strange process, this one, because really the graphic, normally it is something that, you know, develops you know, in the process, and it did, but in the beginning already it was very present. Uh, it gave us a, a sense of color and a sense of uh, power and a sense of uh, international flavors and a sense of uh, décor that really uh, was leading the process in a way. Ideas come from everywhere. We are, we are it's ping pong ideas. We grow, we build on ideas of each other, and also. Um, we have a team, of course, as you see, it reflects in this collection. We have a team of 75 people in the studio. We have graphic designers, interior designers, product designers. So bright, bright uh, uh, creative people, which of course supports us in all the process. So it's, it's a team building, a team, uh, team process of ideas and, and processes, which comes beautifully together. Of course, we sketch a lot still. And, uh, and the sketches go left and right, and they evolve, and they build upon up these ideas, and everything comes together. We named it Mont Gauthier. We, we just came up with this idea for the sofa because we just liked that little image, that Mont Gauthier. And we thought it was so cute. There was this nostalgia about a type of flying that is not there for going somewhere, but for flying only. And there's really no reason to think about the sofa. And then at the end, through the process of drawing and being excited about something, you find something that, strangely enough, becomes so logic. If now you see that drawing is like almost strange it was not done before. And it turned out to be something that is very pure, simple and direct. And I like that. And still now I think it's fun that there's a little bit of that airiness, there's a little bit of that float inside this object. Now I'm sitting on it. If I walk away, this will float away. So I'm, I'm I'm staying here for a bit, otherwise you know, it'll, it might just fly off. The dojo is, is about the uh, Japanese space, of course, this archetype of, of uh, temple space of really beautiful uh, minimal geometrical lines. And of course these panels which are moving, like the dojo doors moves very silently. We have those four panels that moves into, into the library so the dojo can change, can open and close, can leave open spaces and closed spaces because that's what the dojo is about. It's a space. So that's what the space transforms and that's what you can see in the library. I don't want to do uh, crazy objects. I want to make objects that you understand, that you kind of recognize, that you feel happy with, that is uh, basically archetypical. Yet, at the other end, we are designers. We have to do something that surprises and is different and excites and is innovation. This cabinet is a very recognizable type of size. Then you recognize a bit of that Chinese character and then it turns out to have depth the surprises and things inside. You open it, there's a wonderful world. I mean, all together, I think there's, there's recognition and there's surprise. The two major things that we all need. We need to be certain, we need to be surprised. This collection of Fana is a collection that comes from the word and will go to the word because it's, it's telling stories about England and Paris and Istanbul and all the elements that you will see in our graphic refers to little stories, to characters, to nice elements that refers back to those words. And we love, of course, to bring them back and not only embed them in the graphic but also embed them in the in the shapes and in the objects and in the materials and the techniques. So that's our storytelling in this case.